Ah, yes. Delicious babies. Everybody. Hello. Howdy. Hi. And welcome to another Spooptober stream. How are we nearly at the end of Spooptober already? What happened? Where did October go? Who took my October? How is it 11 days until extra life? It's actually 10. I think, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Well, I guess it's 10 or 11. <sighs> it's so close. Schedule for the week. Now, I didn't put it on the schedule chat. Because it's technically not my stream. However, I am going to be um, on another stream this week, on Wednesday. If you haven't seen it in the Discord, under the community schedule, Morbalicious has posted that on Wednesday at 7.30pm, he's going to be doing his XCOM 2 community thing. He's made 40 of us from the community, put us into XCOM 2, and is going to play the game on hard and I'm going to be there as his mission control. Which is to say, I will be the guy telling him what missions to take, what upgrades to get, and such. Which, he's given me a lot of responsibility for something that um, I'm not going to be good at. I've played XCOM 1 on normal. <laughs> I haven't played any XCOM 2. Certainly, I haven't played it on hard. It's going to be fun. A lot of people are going to die that night. I'm, I'm almost certain. If you die in XCOM, you're dead. Ain't no ain't no respawn. So that should be fun. But that's Wednesday. Anyway, chat, we have today Resident Evil Zero. We are continuing on with um, a wet paper towel Rebecca who can't take any damage and um MTV 90s, like, new metal singer Billy. As we uh, we drop items everywhere and fight monkeys. That's going to be today. Floral Reverie, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome. We're just going through the schedule. You know, in fact, um, I'll bring this up. Why not, right? Uh, because I spoke about it just now, but I didn't show it. I was just saying that I'm going to be on another stream on Wednesday, if you didn't see in the uh, in the Discord. So, where is it? I made a thing for it. There it is. I was going to cut off the bottom then to keep my music in frame and I realized it says logo by Cowardly Pastry. That'd be a real fucked up thing to do, wouldn't it? There you go, I'll do it the other way around. I'll cut off a bit at the top. So there you go, chat. That's going to be happening um, on Wednesday, 23rd of October. I'll be streaming uh, XCOM 2 with Morbalicious, basically over on his channel and I'm going to be watching and commentating. It should be fun. Join us then. In fact, here you get it. I'll just do that. <laughs> yeah, yay! I did it. So yeah, that's going to be happening on uh, on Wednesday. Um, Tuesday though, chat. I will say, Resident Evil Six, the continuation of Resident Evil Six. We will be, um. Continuing our co-op endeavor as we bring a new special guest into the mix to play through the Chris and Piss campaign. Continuing to torture, exactly. There was a Christmas puzzle? Oh no, is it set at Christmas? Is it another horror game at Christmas? Not like this. Uh, Thursday chat, we're going to be doing some Dead Space Remake, 7pm. I think we're in chapter 7. We got like one chapter done last stream and it felt, felt bad that we only got like one done. But I think it must have been a long one. 
Or was it two? Maybe it was two. Uh, and it's Saturday, more maidens in bathwater uh, as we continue Fatal Frame looking for... Um, I think we're looking for Ahsoka right now. I could be wrong. We found Miyu. No, we we went looking for Ahsoka. We found Miyu. I can't remember what we're doing right now. We are probably looking for Ahsoka, though. Need to get some food, so be right back. No worries. Right, I'm going to remove this from the screen. We're going to get started on some Resident Evil Zero, folks. Also, Jeppo said hi, and uh, Lard Team Maker as well. Welcome, obviously, everyone from the pre-stream as well. Welcome, hope you're doing good. Another small reminder, chat. Uh, I'm going to probably do this, like, nearly every day, but we have Extra Life coming up in 10 or 11 days. That counter is uh, accounting for uh, when the clocks go forward. So, it could actually be uh, 10 days exactly in, like, an hour's time. Uh, if you haven't done so, in the Discord there is a community post in the server events uh, detailing what games we're playing this year. If you are part of the community, you've been around for a bit, and you want to come and join us, you just got to drop me a DM. And you can play along with any of those games while we're doing Extra Life this year. There's four of them. Um, three of them, I would say, would be helpful if you would book a slot if you need to. If you want to join and one of them is just kind of drop in if you have it anyway that being said uh, let's switch over start playing some games this game's not gonna beat itself and I've heard a lot of people talking about how hard this one is compared to all the others and how like fucked up it is so far, it's not been too bad. I've definitely had to do a lot more restarts on this than I have any other Resident Evil, just for, like, realizing I've done a room wrong and I need to, like, do it again. Or I've used too much ammo or something else. Forgot about this fucking intro movie. And I forgot about the the Resident Evil antagonist, who uh, looks like he's straight out of Final Fantasy. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Zero. I do like the guy saying Resident Evil. It's always good. Hmm. Alright, chat, we left off last time. We're in the basement. Um, if you missed it, the basement sucked. The basement had monkeys in it. Yes, monkey. There is still evil in this place. Hang on, I have, I have two monkey buttons. Should I press them? We got this one. Mm, monkey. And I have this one. Go back! I want to be monkey! I'm going to cut that one off, though. I don't want to be monkey, chat. I don't want to deal with monkey, either. So, grab the grab the thing. Grab it. I believe we used our last ink ribbon. Um, Alright, let's see. I got bullet. I got tablet. I got grenades. Um... You got bullet. Sure. I'm going to put you on attack in case we get monkeyed. Just because it seems like it would be bad if we get monkeyed. Now. I'm trying to remember what buttons do what in this game. That's definitely aim. I'll go alone. Okay. This way. Roger. That's man. Okay, we got there eventually. Right, so I believe, chat, I'm going to that staircase that's on the right. I think that's going to send me up to here, and I think this is how I get back to where we need to be, which is out of the basement. Housewife, welcome. Howdy. How's it going? Not too bad. We just started. 
So nothing major happened yet. But yes, if memory serves... I think we've killed all the monkeys here. But it could respawn monkeys at any time, so who can really say? Uh, let me just check them out. I don't think I left anything down here, right? No, no. We've got everything from that room. Doesn't appear to be anything on the map there. As far as I can tell, I have gotten everything. Which should mean that this will take me up to that staircase, but there's going to be monkeys everywhere. I just feel it. We're going to have to try and deal with them. We've literally just loaded, so if like we die, it doesn't matter. Is the game as bad as everyone made it out to be? Honestly? No. In my opinion... So far, it's it just feels like a kind of normal Resident Evil game to me. There was like... Oh, there's fucking fireworks outside again, chat. Oh, we're up here! Oh... Oh... Did I kill the guys in this room? I sure hope I did. Oh, if I didn't, it's gonna be awkward. Damn! All right. Well, wait. You still alive? All right. Well, we're not going to be doing so hot for ammo, right? I got one bullet. You've got six. It's not exactly great, but that's fine. I feel like running past those guys is just going to be a continual problem otherwise, so... I did get bitten, but I don't think it took any damage off me. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're, we're still on fine status. Um, Alright, now the real question here is... Well, one, do I have any fucking room to put anything down? These are two different types of rounds, I think, that I have in my inventory, which sucks. They're acid grenades. Cannot leave any more items in this room. Yeah. It's all we expected that. <laughs> Alright, she has the water key, she has empty bottles which we're taking into the other room, she has the Unity tablet. Um, okay, let's see, what's the, what's the situation here, what do I want to do? Yeah, I need two item blocks for that. Yeah, the only thing I would say is definitely... Um, very accurate as to what people have been saying about this game is uh, it is indeed kind of a pain in the ass. Um, do I not have two item blocks? Did I not just... Oh, I did it the wrong way around. I want Billy Bob here to grab that. I want to see what ammo it's got in it. Two fire shots, I think that is. Also, thank you very much, Rob, for the 79 months. That is a lot of months. Good god damn. What would that be in years? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do the math. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't know why I asked that. I ain't, got, I ain't got the brain power to do that right now. 79 months. One month until another big number. Also nice of work to plan in an extra life test time for tomorrow morning. It's true, they did do that. Six and a half years. God damn. God damn. 
In fact, that might be the most um, up-to-date badge I have, Rob. 6.5 years, I'm not 100% sure. You're getting up there at the very least, if you're not already on the, the badge for the most. Yes, but they did, you're right. They have indeed uh, planned in some additional time, huh? Uh, right, if I grab that, I can combine it, and then I can take the other one. I'll check it out. Roger. Right, you wait here for now. I'm, I'm gonna go. About to do our sixth extra life search tracks. Yeah. Well, I mean, we were we were affiliated before extra life, but yeah, I get what you mean. Six force is rusty. You have installed everything, me too. I've um, started tutorial testing a few things as well, so... I don't know if you... Um, obviously you weren't here for Sunday Super Show stuff, but I don't know if you've uh, looked at EDF6 yet, Rob, but I was telling all for the... EDF6 has a, uh, like, 10-minute intro tutorial, which is literally just a man shouting at you in a room as you stand still. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was like, oh, huh. Oh, Billy can't do this! Why did I send Billy for this? Oh. Yeah, I'm not reading it out loud, Rob. But yes, that was a long time ago. That photo of us not doing that, but posing in a manner that could suggest that, yes. Alright, well... Billy, you need to... I guess you need to drop this shit or exchange it. Because you can't... I forget that your superpower is being unable to combine shit. Combine those. Uh, pick that up. Right, let's go. Come on, Roger. Yeah, I'm not reading that either. Um, do that tonight, then I guess. Yeah. I was just like, what a silly, silly tutorial. It did make me chuckle. No worries, Rob. You go, you go deal with your potato. Right. I need to pick some. I need to pick a situation here, chat. This is this is getting problematic. So. I think what I really should do is ammo and stuff should go in like this room. Ammo and weapons in here, right? Excluding the Molotovs because they're already in another room. So that makes sense. Um, I think puzzle shit should go in the other room. That would make sense to me. Like puzzle stuff went in the other room. So, like, I take this Unity tablet if I don't need it currently, and I take the, um, whatever. I could, I guess, herbs as well could go in the other room. How much space have I got in the other room? Loads. Does upstairs count as a separate room? It's a separate part of the map. Hang on, let's just find out. This is going to be like, you can't leave anything here anymore, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, this is on a separate map. Are you a separate room? Horseshit. Donkey cock. Horseshit donkey cock. Uh, 
Uh, okay, right. Okay, master of combining. Um, we get you to exchange that. And I guess this for now, we will get you to grab that. Yes. I will get you to combine those. Grab that. Leave both. There will come a time when we might want those. For now, that is not that time. Alright, we're going to take this. I'm just doing a little bit of inventory management chat. This is required in this game because the way it fucking works. I don't hate this, weirdly enough. I feel like this is probably a bigger problem for other people than it is me. Like, running around and leaving items around in places and stuff doesn't actually bother me that much. It's kind of like, in a weird roundabout way, it's itching a... Like, organization part of my brain. Neither does it bother me, it's going to get uh, going back to get them that sucks. Eh. Eh. What is this? Is that another knife? I'm tempted to go and just put the fucking knives like in the sewer chat. I, unless, like, things go really, really poorly, I honestly don't see myself grabbing the knives. Don't eh me, I'll eh you, eh. <laughs> it's fair. Um. Yeah, fuck it. Right? I'll go and let my my knives get like cleaned up in the sewer. It'll be great. I mean, can't leave it here. There you go. We got some sewer knives, chat. If we if we ever need knives, remember they're in the sewer. Watch out for floppy disks, which you need to unlock. Yeah. Kind of fucking crazy to me. As I was saying to you during your stream, Flower, that we're still referencing floppy disks in horror games in like 2024. Yeah, exactly. It's a poop knife. You got it. All right, we've got ammo and stuff here. Uh, you can grab those. Inky ribbons. How many have we got? Four? I'll make a save after this just because I'm out of the I'm out of the thing. I've collected all the items. We're not doing like amazingly, but we're not doing terribly either. Handguns and stuff. Sorry, what is a poop knife? Anomaly to welcome. Some questions are better left unanswered. And we'll just leave it there. <laughs> I will accept this. I can't remember what it was from. Actually, is the real answer, but... Okay. Alright, we've got all my healing in one spot. Uh, I think currently being covered up by this. Which is annoying. Oh no, I just couldn't leave it. Why not? Put it down. Alright, all my healing's in one spot. Um. Oh no, I picked it up again. 
ink ribbons. I need that tablet eventually, but probably not right now. I'm laughing now at remembering the ha clown horn handguns and stuff, yet. Yeah. First rule of poop knives is no one talks about poop knives exactly, you know. It's the code. Alright, I'm gonna leave the Unity tablet in here. And then we're gonna go save. And then I'll be good to go. Rebecca's got no health. But, to be honest... I don't want to use a heal on her right now because she takes like no hits anyway, so I feel like uh, it's a waste. There's a typewriter, record data, yes. Oh shit, we're looping back. That's when you know you're uh, you're really in it in a Resident Evil game. When you looped back after using too many ink ribbons. <clears throat> okay. We have 15 bullets and 10 on Rebecca. I've just saved. It is time for us chat to go exploring. We've got Brave Boy buff in effect. I believe um, we're going to that red door. I think that's correct. Uh, and that should be the water door. Basically, we're now at a point where, you know, if I die, then uh, who gives a shit? Because nothing's happened. And if I run into some big, horrible enemy, I reload and we take the grenade launcher. It's not that noise. I'll be honest. Oh, I've had a fort. I know. Careful. If we're going to go there anyway, or if we're going past it anyway, I should drop off the, the Unity... No, oh, it's up the fucking stairs. I should drop off the Unity tablet at the puzzle. Because there's also some stuff over there I didn't grab. We've got, like, two full heals and a red herb waiting to be combined. I don't feel too bad about health stuff. I wish we still had our um, first aid sprays. That would make life a little more comfortable, but... We've also got a whole area I haven't checked yet. Who knows what's over there. Probably fucking enemies, let's be real, but... Yeah, I think I kind of have to check up here now and go leave this tablet behind anyway, because if, if I don't, then... Um, I'm gonna be out of ammo. I'm pretty sure in here should be ammo. Maybe even a herb. Which would be great. Three fundamental principles of the Umbrella Corporation. Unity tablet. Wunderbar. Okay, we've got some extra ammo. 30 bullets. Feel pretty good about that.
I don't know if she has to be near the door. I suppose I should test that somehow. This area makes some horrible noises. Like ambient noises. All right, now we're going into some uncharted territory, to some degree. Um, once we go through that red door, at least. There's nothing else in here, right? I'm pretty sure I grabbed everything. Don't seem to need it. Throw it away, yes. Beautiful. All right, don't be, don't be something big and scary in here, please. I beg. Okay, so what we got? We got a room to the right. This is like a connecting corridor. I'd like to clear the connecting corridor. Never mind. We're going in the room to the right. this film room no oh, I don't like windows in Resident Evil games chat that's just an opportunity for something to jump out at me papers look like they're long since deteriorated what the f the fuck is going on in here also didn't get me but have that <laughs> Should I go and get the Molotovs? I've got like 12 of them or something. I don't fancy running around those enemies. to get around this place that seems oh why am I going this way that's not the way to go I don't fancy um having to try and juke those enemies the whole time seems like a real pain in the asshole but there's all there's like two of them I don't know how many molotovs will kill them I know that we need to kill them with fire that's all I remember it saying but I'm hoping they die in, like, a couple of Molotovs max. Otherwise, this could be rough. I think this is six. Or maybe nine. It's nine. All right. Well, it's the first time for anything. Let's, uh, let's get some practice throwing Molotov, shall we? In chat, this might seem um, insane, considering we've basically done nothing, but I'm going to make a save. Because we still have free ink ribbons, and I prefer to have a save with that stuff done. Just for my own convenience. As long as I always have one ink ribbon left over so I can end the stream, that's all I care about. After Resident Evil 1, and that time when I wanted to finish streaming it, and I couldn't, because I'd used all my ink ribbons and the game was no, not giving me any more ink ribbons. <laughs> that's, that's all I care about. Alright, Rebecca. This is gonna suck. So, as such, I would like you to wait. In this room. Okay. 
Well, I go and do some shit in here, and it's gonna be great. I'm sure it's gonna go wonderfully, and I'm not gonna fuck this up completely. Oh, good. Yeah, good, good, good. Why did you take so long to throw it? What are we waiting for, Billy? Throw it, you fucking muppet! Okay, free. Free kill it. I'm only on caution. Okay, good to know. Good to know it's free. I missed the first one, didn't I? Oh well, it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? I may end up doing this again. I'm just gonna see what's in this room. I'm gonna use the broadcast that has been used in quite a while. Yeah, no, I'm not looking at the equipment. Vise? Vice handle? I'm gonna do that again because we just saved. Looks like someone was using these machines until very recently. Is this where um, Billy Birkin, whatever his name was, and uh, fucking Wesco were hanging out? When they were like spying on me? Yeah, Billy Birkin. Billy Boy Birkin. Big balls, Billy Boy Birkin. Like I say, chat, we're going to reload. We're, we're using this as a good opportunity to do some reconnaissance, right? Camera's covered with dust, but it looks playable. Nope. And it's not with small bottles. Is there anything special about it? Do we not want to get behind the bar? Do we not think that getting behind the bar might be pertinent? Maybe there's something back there that I would, lo I would want to see? Billy? No? We're just like, nah, fuck that, I can't, I've just got to run up against it. Like, is there not, like, an entrance to this bar? I guess maybe round the back. Which I can't get to. So it was this room, just a piano. I'm pretty sure Billy can't play the piano. Never fucking mind. I take back. I am sorry, Billy. I didn't realize that you were classically trained. It's honestly impressive. Billy has hobbies, yep. My boy really showed me up. More magnum ammo. Bottles and a battery. Ah. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to need the extra space, for sure. Uh, Alright, let's reload it. <clears throat> Resident Evil Zero. Now we know. That's why we made this save. There's still evil in this place. Oh, wait, no. Different. Are the faint sounds of footsteps those of survivors? I don't know, bruv. All right. Let's, uh, let's fucking go. Let's get this done. Get that bread. You coming with me? Ideally, we need to kill both of these in three only, because we have nine, so we have enough to kill another one. If need be. I'll go alone. 
Roger. If I get hit, it's fine. I just don't want to waste the Molotov. Okay, one down. I'm gonna have to get this one on screen, which kind of sucks, but... Oh, for fuck's sake. That's what's happening. I'm hitting the fucking wall like a twat. Zero. Fucking Billy. Oh, wait, wasn't there? Oh, chat. There's only one item in this room. I might be able to get it and not use any Molotov. That could really be a very clever play. That's probably the right way to do this, isn't it? The one in the corridor, I feel, has to go. That one's a problem. He's, like, in a traversal space. So running any of these two back and forth through that traversal space is just going to be a problem. Um, however... The one in that room... Roger. I might be able to just get the item and get out. Alright, maybe if I don't have anything equipped, I might even move a little faster. I think you do. So, let's, uh, let's try to get this item. Here we go. If I take a little bit of damage, I'm not too fussed. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, Billy! Big balls Billy Burke. No, wait, no, I'm, I'm not Billy Birkin. Wait, I'm just regular Billy. Small balls Billy. <laughs> uh, fucking rip. Oh, why have I still got my ink ribbons on me? Take those for now. Is it worth me getting rid of? I mean, I could just drop the ink ribbons. How many things are in that room? It was bottles and a battery? No, I'm going to go drop them. It's literally right there, isn't it? This, along with other reasons, chat, is 100% why I want or feel like Ink Ribbon shouldn't be on um, a storage slot. I think they should just be like a, an item that goes in the top on a counter. And it pisses me off. Because every time you load your save, you're going to have your ink ribbons on you. But then they'd make the other items jealous. <laughs> well, they do with, like, the lighter. Why can't you have the ink ribbon of the area? Fucking lighter doesn't care if people are jealous. I just had an idea. 
Can you? Oh, I need Rebecca. Never mind. My idea is flawed. I was gonna bring some fuel so we could combine it on the spot. I mean, once we're done in that little other area, we're we're done. Also, uh, excuse me, what is on this hill? I, I'm this hill, what is that? Did I not pick this up? Chat. What I picked that up. Hmm. Uh oh. Did I just look at it and say no? I don't want it. Yeah. Well. Now it's now it's great. Now it's lovely and great. And everything's great. And I took a bunch of extra damage for no reason. Fucking. Oh, that put me on caution. Alright, well, let's go get Rebecca. I mean, if I have to reload again, which may happen, because at this point, it's more or less, this game is, it's very different. Okay. I feel like this game is a speedrunning game. It's learning how to speedrun Resident Evil. One section at a time. But I was going to say, if uh, if I did need to reload for some reason, then um, we can do it again. At least I know I can do it while he's turning. Wait, hang on. Can you play the piano, Rebecca? Because you were shit in Resident Evil 1, right? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> That's great. Calm the zombie nerves. Play the piano using Rebecca. I just got an achievement for that. Beds. Oh, reds. I mean, what is it? Beds. I bet this uh, battery is going to take up two slots. Also, that's a lot of ammo for a gun I don't have. Uh, pick up the bottles. If this does take up two slots, then I'm going to be not happy. One slot. Huh. Hmm. 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 If only there was a place we could get infinite bottles, right? Yeah, no, there's only three in here. Don't be silly. Astro battery. Well, I think I know what the the trick is here, but I'm not happy about it. So you're gonna need you're gonna need the battery. 
really. Tell you what, let's just do this. Try and kill like two birds, one stone while we're here. All right. Let's split up. Okay. Wait. No, how is that gonna... That's not gonna help me anyway. How am I gonna take the battery? Someone's on the other side of the door, it doesn't matter, because they're not gonna have the battery. It's really silly, but everything you need is in this room. Is it like a push something into the doorway puzzle? Let's regroup. Roger. Everything you need is in this room. Find hmm. selection. Okay. Everything you need is in this room. Well, in this room is some bottles and a battery. Well, I'll tell you what, we haven't tried. We haven't tried this yet, have we? So I'll go alone. Roger. At the very least, let's try it. And see what happens. There might be something on the other side of the door. Might be playing the piano again. understand why that is a thing. I don't understand why how that puzzle makes any sense, but let's regroup. Okay. I don't understand how that's supposed to make any sense. Because it looked like taking the battery out was like, oh okay, hello. Why is that leeches everywhere now. I know we killed a thing that was made of leeches, but why are they everywhere? If I killed a thing that was made of leeches or whatever and they leave leeches behind, does that mean it's going to reform eventually? I hope not. Piano opens the door because there's a battery in there to move the wall, so when you remove the battery and play the piano again, it should still know it's dumb. Yeah, exactly. It should not work because whatever was powering the mechanism, that's what I would assume. Like, I'd have, I thought there was going to be some sort of, like, you're going to need to block the door or something, but no. We're not, we're not in the realms of that, apparently. Okay, we've got the vice handle, which I don't know what this goes to. Uh, we've got our magnum ammo I need to drop at some point. Uh, bottles and batteries. One thing, Mel, can you go to the western 2F area and find a giant gas cylinder for me? 
I know if I know what area you're talking about. But I guess so. Um Alright, hang on a second, so what have we got? Vice handle. Like I'm pretty sure I know where the battery goes. Outside. I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Uh, and then the magnum ammo will drop. Second door in the western corridor. Two F Western. Is there a uh, like move? There is kind of right. You can do it like this. So what are we talking? Second door in the Western corridor. This hallway. Through the sword door and then head to the furthest door in that corridor. I I can. I'm not a hundred percent sure if I left enemies in there. Is there a reason for me to go there, or is it like a? Funny meme uh, thing. Yes? Okay. I'll tell you what I'll do, because I got a bunch of stuff. We're gonna we're gonna You need to fill up Rebecca's medical pouch. Excuse me. I'm gonna make save. That's what I was gonna say, chat. We're gonna make save. Cause I did a bunch of stuff, fuck it. I might be on caution, I don't care. Alright, well I've saved now, so if there is something in there and it kills me, that doesn't matter. And if we really need to, we can still go save back. Oh, uh... Second door in the western corridor. So you mean that furthest back one? Furthest door in that corridor, which is that one. That room is right in the center of the screen, the T-shaped Tetris block. Did I leave anything in this hor in this corridor, though? Yes. <laughs> um, what did I leave in here? What is in here? Oh no, 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 no! They're new. Not the fucking monkeys. No monkeys. No, no, please, no monkeys. They're gonna kill me. I'm fucking believable. <laughs> Fucking monkeys in here! Who put monkeys in here? Resident Evil Zero. I'm glad I saved. You have to go to that medical thing. Okay. I believe you. I'm just glad I saved. <laughs> No, the faint sounds of footsteps are not survivors. The faint sounds of footsteps are fucking monkeys. I, the absolute worst enemy in this game. I'm hoping two grenade shots and a bunch of pistol ammo will be enough. The monkeys stun lock you as well, it's really bad. Do 
She's low enough that... If we get hit a couple of times, I'll, um, I'll pop a heal on it. monkey wanker yeah they both died okay good oh, man. I sure hope there's nothing in here So, put it in the mixing set. You put the green chemical in the mixing set. The container is filled with a green chemical. It appears to have a neutralizing effect on poisons. So, what's this for? That'll be useful later. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. That's a, that's a good heads up. I will have, at some point, been asked to go and do that and then forgotten about it. Whenever you see a cylinder, fill it up. Okay, so that's a, like a thing I have to do multiple times. <sighs> Took a bunch of damage doing that as well. I'm a I'm assuming then what if you run out of that, can she not like combine herbs anymore or something? Does it like fuck it up that way? To be continued later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rebecca, you take this for, for Billy, potentially, in a minute. He gets his shit kicked in. Man, I really hate those monkeys. Okay. Actually, you know what? It makes more sense to combine you with you, exchange you onto you, switch player, oh, exchange you onto you, switch player, combine you with you, exchange back, and then just for a moment here, drop that, grab these. Who put monkeys in here? Thank you for the clip. Twitch made clip making really hard. It's annoying. There is always the uh, the clip command if uh, you don't want to have to do it the hard way. Not quite as much finesse in clip making there, but it's a shame you can't name them anymore. That used to be a, a nice feature of that, but they took it away in the API, so you can't do it now. Alright, Rebecca's got my healing item and some Molotovs. We need to go uh, through that last little bit on the right there. There's two more rooms for us to check. I know, but I want to make sure I get the perfect clip. Yeah, it's sad. Where am I going? Upstairs. Ugh. 
think I'd enjoy the training facility more if it was half the length. It does feel like a very long area, doesn't it? I'm the same, I always want to edit them perfectly, yeah. I mean, I am as well, I think, but... Twitch don't make it a fun process anymore, so... There's another part of me that's like, well, fuck it, I'll just use the thing. <clears throat> we may have to go and do that monkey corridor again if this gets bad. I'm hoping it won't. So, we need to come out here, there's another connecting corridor and there's two rooms. No idea what those rooms are, but let's figure it out. Had to refresh the page like four times to get it to load. Yeah. It's, it's really bad. It's not a well maintained page. Okay, so do I want to go left room or right room first? Left room looks weird. Left room's got something going on in it, like a cupboard. Right room is a big circle, which worries me. I guess I'd probably rather go left room first. I'll take my chances with a cupboard over a weird circle room that could have, like, enemies in it running around after me. <gasps> The Christmas come early. Cupboard. Well, I mean, look at the map. What else would you call that? It could be anything. It looks like a cupboard. How much ammo have I got now? 32 bullets spare. Fuck yeah, baby. Assortment of laboratory equipment doesn't think it would be anything of interest. Oh my god, there's herbs in there. So all the equipment here is badly worn. Some of the machines are even showing traces of rust. I'll go. Okay. I don't care about the human bones. Grab the other thing I saw. There we go. Poop concoction you have. Poop concoction? Oh, you mean the the mixed herbs? Follow me. Okay. Let's mix herbs. If you mix red, green, and blue. You get mixed herbs. Hmm. <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. Let's split up. Roger. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, Rebecca. I've got something to take care of. Chat, I need to do this before I die. Even if I get the danger, I've got to keep keep doing it. And then heal afterwards. Here we go! Wish me luck! Get off, dude. Get off, get off, get off. Why is he so, like, is she better at throwing them? Or something? Like, why does he take a year to do it? It's so slow. He's so slow. Like, it's insane how slow he is. Ah! 
are the faint sounds of the footsteps, those of survivors. <sighs> okay. Takes like a year, the leech man doesn't stagger from it, and then you still need to hit him three times. Yeah. Time for Monkey Corridor! Yep, yeah, I'm thinking about trying something slightly different in Monkey Corridor this time around. You stay here. Okay. The trench run for Rebecca, yeah. Okay, so it's in here and then final room. She's probably gonna die, but what I'm hoping is I can get in and out and then heal. I'll take that. Am I in danger? Or am I just caution still, I wonder? Uh, I'm in danger. I'm enjoying the part where you're almost soft locked by the monkeys. I'm not soft locked, I've got heals. Yes! Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! I'm alive! Mayo's Forest Gump synopsis. Thank you for the clipboard. A reminder chat, if you missed it, I'm going to be uh, on Morbo's stream on Wednesday, 7.30pm, playing XCOM 2. More specifically, Morbo's going to be playing XCOM 2, and I'm going to be watching and giving him probably extremely terrible advice. need I kind of forget what I had to deal with just then in that other room I gotta be honest yeah we got a shout out mission control maelstrom that's me ground control to mage maelstrom leech man well, I know I had to deal with the leech man but the other part of it I can't remember what if there was anything else one thing is for sure, I don't need to take heals with me. Because there is a first aid med and... Um... Herbs. Down there. Right, so... Let's go. We're gonna have to deal with that leech man, like, regardless, I feel. Because, uh... No, that's, that's not going to work. I'm, I'm literally just concocting a plan in my head, chat. And I don't think it's going to work. My honest advice for the leech man will always be if he hits you, just run to the other end of the room and throw the Molotov there. Yeah. I'm actually going to try out Rebecca and see if she has a better throw. I'm considering it. No, actually, you know what? I have no idea what her throw is like, so that's probably a bad idea. At least I know what Billy's looks like, even if it is shit. <laughs> so let's uh, let's switch it over. It's not listed in her attributes, alongside being shit. I'd rather not have to do the monkey corridor again, 
So let's uh let's not let's not test it. I like how my uh, my shout out, by the way, was like, check out Morbo, they were last playing. And it didn't say anything. Just say we're last playing. Grab the thing, Billy. You're definitely going to want that one. All right. You stay here. Yeah. Yep. That's me, Billy. Yeah. Mm -mm. I care not of the human bone. All right. Okay. I think maybe I... Well, I don't know. Should I try run away? I don't know what the camera angle is going to be like if I do. It's got to be better than what we had. If I just run out of here and like get out of harm's way and then immediately get into a better position and turn. But if there's like another leech man further down that corridor or something, I'm in trouble. Fuck it. The element of surprise! Oh, he got me. Help me. Chat, was that a second leech man? Or was that the same one? That was the same one, right? I'm so caution? Oh, fuck off! Well, now I'm definitely danger. Flower, that doesn't work because they they like charge you down or hit you at long range. I think you're better off just taking the tank and the damage and throwing it at them, honestly. I'm just hoping that Billy's still fine afterwards, which he, he probably will be because he's a fucking tank. Billy Big Ball! Let's regroup. Roger. All right. I mean, I suppose I should keep these just in case it's bad in the next room. You are full. However, you can also combine. All right, we've got two item slots. I'm going to go in with pistol, just under the assumption that it's not going to be another leech man. I hope it's not. And this will be our last room in this place, which is worrying because I haven't found all of the tablets. But there is outside, so there might be something going on out there, I guess. All right, well, let's go. Let's do it. Beautiful. Nice shot. Amazing. There should be a button on this screen. I know this is like no one, no one's ever going to change anything about this game at this point. There should be a button on that screen, which is just reload partner's guns. Let's be real. It's a large drum. 
Various tools and measuring equipment lie on the table. Oh my god, I'm so happy to see you, Jesus fucking Christ. Is there anything else in here? Is it just shotgun shells? Various machine parts. Oh, vice handle. The vice is gripping a tablet. The handle is missing. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Alright, so we need to go do that. Um, I'm just wondering what Billy was looking at. Is it the zombie he's looking at? It might be. Wait, is there anything else in here? <clears throat> right, there's no way they spawn another fella. Surely. Right? No shot. Like, the same trick out of both rooms? Nah. I saw her pointing a gun, and I think she was pointing them at the leeches, and I hope she was pointing them at the leeches. If she wasn't, that's a problem. Get him off! Get off! Get off! Oh no! Wouldn't it suck if she shoots the leeches? Sure would! Sure would! I saw one shot go off. I can deal with one. That's fine. There's no way we took any damage from that, though, right? They make sure to put those doors right next to each other so every player would make that mistake. Does feel that way. A lot of the uh, design philosophy in this game does feel that way. Like, <laughs> put them there and fuck them. Fuck the player. We hate the player. Dark Souls 2. Yeah. The Dark Souls 2 design school. Alright. Um, couple of things we need to do here. First off, let's leave this. Second. Grab that. No. Is that what you were on top of, Rebecca? You fucking idiot. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I am done fighting Leechman, at least for just a little bit. Like a room or two. And just hope I'm correct. Yeah, I'll take the mixed herb. Thanks. Vice handle. I would really like more ink ribbons. That would make me feel good about myself if, I, if we had more ink ribbons, chat. 
Because right now... Uh, we don't. Just like another... Another drop. Another drop of ink ribbon. That's all I'm asking. Just so I don't have to do everything again. Let's split up. Roger. You've got the fate of the entire world in your hands, bro, because you are my world, bro, bro. <sighs> bro. That's, that shit's deep. Alright. Billy, you're going alone. Just because I don't want old fucking leechy shooty lady over here to pull the trigger. And we just gotta hope there's no leech men. If there are leech men, I'm like, I'm fucked. I'm done. It's over. It's Jova. I keep pressing that button thinking it's gonna bring up the map. I don't know what game I'm playing that that button is the map off the top of my head, but... I'll tell you what game... Every game, chat, is what I'm playing that isn't left fucking trigger for the map, other than this. I'll tell you that much, for free. Every other game I play, it definitely isn't left trigger. Because that's insane. Even Tormented Souls knows to put a map on a sensible button. It's on L3. I mean, I'll take L3 over left trigger. The Obedience Tablet. Fully expected something to jump out at me there. Right, so we've got to make this run back. I am going to save again once we get back there, chat. I don't care if it's my last ink ribbon. I don't want to redo all this stuff. Too much of it has gone well. Like the monkey room and such. And that puzzle in Silent Hill 3 where you crack a nut and get a key out inside of it. I do vaguely remember that. Yes. I'm slightly worried that... Oh, no, never mind. Hush my mouth. I was about to say, I'm slightly worried we didn't get rid of the vice grip, but we did. I just didn't see the text for it. I'm like, where the fuck else are we going to use this vice grip? I was quite happy with Silent Hillish Tormented Souls ended up being it's like a mix of the two. Let's regroup. Roger. Does look pretty good. Must be said. Janky in places, but I mean, you forgive a certain amount of that for being an indie studio. That's a millennials fuck outlook. Things have gone well. This is suspicious. We're, we're, we're too well trained to see that and feel like something's gone wrong. They can't be this kind and generous. Right, we're going to run the extremely risky strat here, chat, of using my last ink ribbon. I don't like it. I don't like using my last ink ribbon. It makes me feel uncomfortable. But I also feel like we're about to leave this area. Or at the very least, go from this area to whatever is beyond at the top there. So I would be shocked if we don't run across some more ink ribbons. Truthfully. Um, I'm sorry, where did I leave the Unity tablet? Is that upstairs? I am this. Oh yeah, that's not in here. Oh, I already put it in the thing. I put it in the thing. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're fine. I already put it in the machine. I'm just going to leave this one here for now. Right, okay. We 
Meanwhile, us and Gen Z are like, this is not fine, it never will be. I mean, to be honest, uh, it's not much different for us. <laughs> I see a lot of people on, like, internet or whatever talking about how Gen Z are never going to afford housing. Mate, I can't afford housing. There we go. Alright, however, chat, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to go on a break. So, come back in a bit, and we'll go outside. It'll be great. Don't go anywhere. Enjoy the clips. And I'll see you when I return. I might get a little angry if that happens. No man can do it. Look. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's amazing. Backstage and let's put on this show. Uh, uh, I love that guy. Like mine waiting. It's just like in the swamps. Good job. Yes. 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 We both got above our ass. <laughs> yes. So she might have, she might have Maybe died on purpose. Already? <laughs> oh, people! <laughs> Thank goodness! I'm so glad you're okay. Oh fuck! Hey, it's what? Charlie. She's right there! I'm glad to see you're okay. What are you shooting at her? Where is everybody? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Why can't I ollie across them? I think I do. I think I've got to do it. We can't narrow that down. Rob died. Right. Let's go back <laughs> 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 Why did Rob die? Why did Rob die? <laughs> Everything that we have done has Does every time I'm gonna shout louder than you now! What the bug? <coughs> I inhaled spoke. <laughs> Piss off, ghost! Nope! Oh god, I hate it! <laughs> oh god, I hate it! Oh! Don't want to shoot it! Can it just go away? Where am I? Yeah, good fucking question. Chat, now would be a good time for me to check my heart rate. Have I been here before? Oh, it went up. <laughs> oh, I can open this now. That's cool. Ah! What the f- Why? No! Why are you- What are you- Why? A dead body in here of all places! Fuck off! Wait, stay- just stay close, Ashley. That guy might see us here, is my problem. Right, I don't think he will. That lady there will, though. I'm not careful. Alright, you know this is all kid stuff. It's just a bunch of charms. 
Go on. You gonna finish that sentence? I shot the crow. Crow! Oh. Jon Snow! Crow! Uh. Do we get any gold from shooting crows? I don't know. Check we my... get to waste ammo and have fun. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Are you seeing this? <laughs> it's Miko, okay. <laughs> She's having a, one of those pop star tantrums, you know? Hang on, can I see what happens when you Kermit? Should, you try it, Kermit. You should try it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Get him go! This goddamn door! Can't open this goddamn piece of shit door! Mm. I've got to get home to Miss Piggy! <laughs> oh, man, my favorite Resident Evil characters, canonically. <clears throat> Kermit and Miku are the best. Alright, chat. I'm back. Brave boy buff active. It's time to go outside. Let's find out what the fuck's going on. Wait, I did save, right? Yeah. Right? You saw me save, chat? That happened? I would have a save thing in that room if I hadn't. Yeah, yeah, we save. Can't believe they replaced Kermit with this guy called Chris and Miku with a guy called Piss. Yeah. All right, camera. All right, no need for that. What do I? What do I do here? Oh, it's <laughs> it's on the thing. Okay. What do I need this for? Yeah. Rebecca, you fucking dipshit, get out of the way. Eh. I don't want to push it one more, I feel like I won't be able to get it back out. Solidly built. There is no sign of decay. I actually don't know what that served. What purpose that served. Didn't we already have access to the roof? Where this lift was? I remember seeing this box on a lift. Like it's somewhere we've been. It's there. It's that fucking lift there. I don't get it. Am I supposed to, like, break the box? Push it off something? Maybe? You need to reach something? Look at the pillars. Something there, but you can't see it well from here. Oh my god! <laughs> the camera, really? Look, look, look at this, look at this shit. When you're like over here, nothing. When you're here, nothing. When you come all the way over here, right before the camera switches, which bear in mind, if you're running along, 
right? If you're running along this area, you're just gonna do this. You're not gonna be waiting. So if you stand at the edge of the fucking screen, something is up there. How the hell would you see that? I'm doing that, but <laughs> just for clarity, but it was really funny when it came on the screen. <laughs> it really made me chuckle. Oh, that was good. Push the thing, Billy, push the thing! Billy! Push it! He don't want to. That boy ain't right. Was it like a weird camera thing? Was it caught? It didn't look like it was. That's the last tablet. Alright. The worst part is it doesn't even look like Billy should be able to reach that, not even on the grate. Uh, on the crate, rather, sorry. Yeah, you're not wrong. Right, I would really like to find... Um... Some more ink ribbons. Soon. But we know where we need to go. I'm intrigued as to what's going to be next, because... I feel like we've been in this training facility for, like, a decade. Which, let's be real, is just, like, Spencer Mansion again. Like, that's clearly what they made this to be. I don't mind. I don't hate it. I think it's fine. But it has been a long time since we've been to a new area, so... Put the Warhammer 40k tablets in place. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> you could have... You could have asked me... For, like, a million pounds. What I was expecting to happen. I can tell you now it wasn't that. Also, we just got to complete the training facility achievement. Yay! We did it. We did it, guys. We did it. Bad. Laboratory. That's not shocking, is it? Right, important mail. When you get to the next typewriter, save and do not leave the room. Okay, I'll take that. Um, advice happily, thank you. I'm oh, sorry, what is this room? Whole lot of nothing.
It's locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. Doesn't seem to be getting any power. It's locked from the other side. Um. Already a puzzle for me to do here? I don't see it. Turn to do the bats. What the fuck? The game not gonna have the decency to put me in a new area and let me progress? Like, what, what are we doing here? Press every corner of this room. Oh my god, the fucking plates on the floor. I'll go. Yeah. Never mind. So is that door going to lock again? If I switch to you? Yes. Just double checking. Guess she just gets a smoke break, yep. Well, Billy basically has to do everything because Billy has like six times Rebecca's health or something stupid. There is an altar here. Despite its aura of divinity, you can't help but sense something ominous about it. Fucking... Decroated ass baby in the picture, that's why. And he slays on the piano. Yeah. Um, duh, Rebecca is a girl! I mean, it is basically in her description that Rebecca is, like, just worse than Billy. Alright, we've got more shotgun ammo. Some grenades. And a typewriter. I mean, right now, I should probably just leave those on the floor in this room. Is that because she's a girl? Apparently. I assume. Wait, hold. Okay, I'm holding. Take some weapons. I mean, I have weapons. I have a shotgun and a pistol. But if I want other weapons, I've got to go all the way back to the house. I don't even know if I can do that. Eh. I mean, yeah, it's... We know there's going to be a boss fight here, but I do honestly appreciate it. <laughs> in the instance of this game, um, I feel like I could get soft locked if I didn't bring the right stuff. So, worst case scenario, we have that hall save again, and I can um, can always go back. Just gotta get the tablet off the thing again. It would be not. Like, much effort to get back there. Giant bat? BAD! I do wish I had some healing. Alright, dude. Alright. I don't even know where you are. Like, okay, okay. 
Oh my god, I got picked up! <laughs> Get off! We're gonna be redoing this chat. It's a good chance, I'd imagine, that we're gonna be redoing this. I can't even tell if I'm hitting it. Like, I imagine I am, but I can't tell if I am. Oh, do you think the big bat was not enough, game? Give me a bunch of other shit to take my target away from the boss. Yeah, really fucking clever. Why not? <laughs> you fucking... You piece of shit. But those little bats are not required. They're, they're not... That's surplus. 17 bats in the room with the with the big boss with a shit camera and I can't shoot it because I, I can't tell like where it is unrequired surplus entire thing was shite camera angle design everything yeah don't disagree I mean at least the save is right fucking here like no one wouldn't like there's no way you wouldn't take that save when you're finally out of the facility, so... Like, it's not... Am I hitting it there, chat? It's really hard to tell. That looked good. Joking. If you're gonna have an auto aim system that like locks onto enemies, don't put this many ads in a boss fight, man. What are we doing? What the fuck are we playing at? Need a damn Uzi. And they come back as well, so I don't want to waste the ammo on them. I'm just sitting there taking chip damage. Resident Evil. What a fun boss, yeah. I mean, I've got a strat, I guess. It's not a great one, but it's like if I stand with my back to that altar, at least it doesn't send my aim all over the fucking shop. I still have to sit there just taking chip damage for free with no recourse, but... <sighs> Maybe if I go stand at the other side of the room... They come back, so they're just messing with your aim. Yeah, and they attack me. They do damage as well, so... They do both. Wait, can I just leave? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, I got a second. Wait, can I... I could just leave. Huh. All right, well, fuck that then. <laughs> where, where else are we going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll fight that. I see my horse shit. Oh, 
I think I need to kill it, though. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to progress. At least I now know I could leave, potentially, and get weapons. I think I got the big one there. I have a question, chat, if anyone knows. Does this boss... Like, if I leave, does his damage persist? Or does he just, like, reset? I imagine he just resets, but... What do you mean, reload?! No idea, probably resets. I got one bullet left. My uncaution or day? I'm just uncaution. Oh, no, okay. That's all, folks. <laughs> Delightfully devilish Seymour. Right. I actually don't know what was the purpose of that. Did killing the bat help? How did that help me? No, I don't want these. <laughs> Superintendent Maelstrom! Now, oh, yeah, Seymour. Alright, well... Oh, looks like you could use something to get up there. Oh! The Hook Shottington. Yes. Alright, I'll be right back. Rebecca's like, wait, you look really injured and all the bats are fucked off. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Don't go in there. It's bad in there. There's guano everywhere. Is this going to be in a different spot, this door, than where it was before? Uh-oh. I'm going to die. I'm going to die to... I'm going to die to monkeys. I've just got to go. Which way is it? Is it up? It's kind of the way I'm now facing, ish. Oh. Have you ever watched Steamed Hams, but there's a different animator every 13 seconds on YouTube? I think I have. Now you've mentioned it. I feel like... That's right, ringing a bell. Also, Toffle welcome. Um, uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll take this. No reason not to, right? I'm not dead, but I'm like not doing great. Oh, there is a reason not to. I don't have the space for it. Oh, for fuck's sake! By the time I take the hook shot, I'm going to have no space. I'm going to take this instead. I'm going to take these two combined herbs and just eat them on the spot. And and just eat them on... I'm going to take these two combined herbs and just eat them on the spot. There we go. And then we'll just have to make it through the monkey gauntlet.
monkey gauntlet. I could go and get the grenade launcher and clear the monkeys out, but I feel like I'm only going to have to go through there. Oh no, I'm going to have to go through there loads if I need to get all my mon- uh, Do I need to get all my items over there? At some point? Oh, I hope not. I hope they just come with me. I have a feeling they won't. <laughs> I have a feeling they won't. Nope. Oh. Time to get the poop knife from the sewer. Time to kill monkey. Right now? No. I don't think we kill monkey, because it might just respawn more monkey. Maybe I do kill monkey. Maybe now is the exact time to kill monkey. I flip-flopped. I changed my mind. I'm, I'm now thinking if there's going to be a good chance that I'm going to have to come back through this area to get stuff at some point. Then maybe now is a good time to kill Monkey. Seeing as I have a grenade launcher filled with grenades. Well, two. Two will do it. Two will work. <laughs> Though, to be clear, we hate monkeys. I do hate monkeys. Well, hate's a strong word. I fear monkeys. Don't necessarily hate monkeys, like, for existing. That's their prerogative. But... Monkeys f fucking scary. Anyone who's not scared of monkeys should be scared of monkeys. Oh my god, he fucking jumped it! Stunt monkey! Is it dead? I think he's dead. You should fear monkey the fucking buff, man. Oh yeah, no, I 100%. Like I said, anyone who doesn't fear monkeys clearly doesn't know about... Then <laughs> she types spank monkey followed by... Oh no! Um, anyone who doesn't fear monkeys should fear monkeys because monkeys rip people's faces off. That's just how it is. That's just the truth of it. No, I didn't want to... Take the fucking red herb. What's Billy gonna do with the red herb? I will take this and just put it, like, here. So I can see it. Well, I can see it's there. It went up top for some reason. Chimps have legit eaten human babies. Yeah. And this is why monkeys shouldn't be trusted. Alright, I'm going to tell you now, chat, if it's respawned some monkeys for some reason, I'm going to be very mad. To be fair, that's not very hard. I could eat a human baby. Says Alsafe. I don't know, man. I feel like they're a bit Moorish. Do not fear the Reaper, but fear those monkeys. They will rip your face off and make fun of you. <laughs> There's even a laugh at the end. <laughs> it's like um, Seth Rogen laugh. Lynchy, thank you for your message. It has been channeled to me from the spirit realm. Mm, monkey. Dino. 
danger, danger, danger. Unbelievable. <laughs> you can have a random sound effect for that one. Why won't you die? That's a good one. I need to get the Have you heard of the High Elves guy on my soundboard? I want him. I do like that you got the Denga though, that's very funny. Denga, Denga, Denga. Unbelievable. Oh, we're going to unlock the the thing. Is that the play here? Should I just leave the hook shot up here, or is that a bad idea? I don't know. Let's climb up or down. All right. Power switch. Don't touch, but fire. Don't touch, but fire. That is but, right? Don't, uh, is it like don't touch, but fire? Or what does that say? It definitely says but. Don't touch butt fire. Elden Ring message. So, we have some inventory problems here, chat. Reminder, this was a Japanese game made by people who mostly couldn't speak English. It's true, although, to be fair, this is like game number what? Seven or eight or something of the Resident Evil set. I feel like, you know, they get a pass for so long and then it's like you should you should probably know this. Your localization team should be doing this job. Um You disparage the name of Sir Reginald Buttfire. Preferred. I'm just gonna leave the hook shot in there for now because I don't believe I need it. At least right now, I don't need it. Remember all the misspellings in the original Silent Hill 2 that Bloober included in the remake? Classic. Likely to pay homage, but like Bloober, you could have fixed it. Uh, yeah, they probably just left it in there for historical sake. Historical society. People would have cared, yeah, you're yeah, not wrong. There are definitely a con like contingent of people who would have very much cared. People already upset it's good, yeah. Insane. Oh, wrong wrong button. Let's regroup. Roger. Ah, uh, back again, Rebecca. Wait, why upset? It's a weird, like, subset of 
uh, Silent Hill fan. Just make sure there wasn't a green herb in here. It's a weird subset of Silent Hill fan Morbo who like just wanted it to be bad so they could hate it because they're so used to like everything that Konami puts out Silent Hill being bad that the fact it's good has upset them for some reason. It's very strange. That's fan bases for you. Well, yeah, but I also feel like most fan bases are like happy when something's good and not like weird about it. You know, like when something's good, you're like, yay, it's good. Oh, thank God. Not like, oh, it's good. Now I can't hate it. Because I'm a fan of that series. That's where it gets weird. Huh. Oh, 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 big news, everybody. Marcus's diary number two. This page has been torn out. Trouble is unlikely, but I close my babies up in a special capsule. It won't be safe if I hold on to it myself. I'll hide it in that place. To hide a leaf, put it in a forest. To open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys would figure out how to make it. So I believe Marcus is the... the... Final Fantasy antagonist character. Wait, is this another hookshot spot? Bookshelf contains a number of books about viruses. The titles are unfamiliar to you. Do I really need to go get the hookshot again? I guess I left it very nearby. How good do you have to be at stripping to become an agent? Yeah. It's time for us to start the supply train mail. Oh boy. Is it really? Is this like my new home of operations? Okay. Right. But this is new, my new base of operations. Here's what we're going to do. All right, Rebecca, shall we? Let's give the folks what they want. Oh, look, Resident Evil Mouse Curse, so you don't see that every day. Let's do it right. Wait, we get this one all the time. Give me a different one. Oh, I mean, that's a classic. Oh, I can't turn that off. <laughs> Do you like my car? <laughs> I uh, hope there aren't any monkeys in this fucking corridor over here. Please. It's a black train run. Hoping for zero monkeys. Ties into my uh, stream title chat. I'll put a new song on the way for the way back.
It's honestly not that bad of a run, but I, I feel like I might need to make two. Just worrying. I don't know if we'll get away with one. Because I've got a grenade launcher as well. That's two fucking slots on its own. I wonder what would happen if you pressed use on the red herb. Do you reckon Billy would just be like, rum, 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 nothing happens? Hey, we get to play as Rebecca for a bit. Wow. Chat, I'm doing something with Billy up there. <laughs> well, I'm running over here, Rebecca. <laughs> oh, shit. It's honestly making it really hard for me to control Rebecca, though. It's like my brain's like, I can't compute what we're doing. Yeah, he's still up there. He's still doing it. All right, chat, return, return trip. I'm going to put a song on chat for the return trip that um, I didn't add to my button because I was worried about DMCA for a long time, but uh, I've grown less careful about that stuff recently. It doesn't matter as much anymore. Not as much as it did. So let's put this on. Oh. Wait, it's not like a weird version of it. It's got a long intro. It's okay. I think it's the one from the anime. Get out of here, cursor. Every so often it's gonna cut camera and you're just going to see Billy spinning. Billy, you okay? Okay, Billy's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chat Eurobeat makes me so happy. Why does it? Does he say "Welcome to my monkey show"? Welcome to my monkey show. Welcome to my monkey show. I need to. There you go. What's night? Night on fire. Lyrics. What does he say? Wait, what the fuck? No, that's... Who fucks JT music? 
Welcome to the... Welcome to my Rocky show! Oh. Okay. Well, I, you know, monkey show. Alright. Okay, the real question here is, though, we're not going to be able to fit everything in that one room, so I'm going to have to use this hallway as well, huh? Let's leave these out here for starters. Tell you what, I'll leave the uh, grenade launcher out here as well, along with the ammo for it. All right, how does this look? All right, this is a big corridor full of crap. That's fine. I'll leave the magnum ammo out here as well. We got heels. I think the rest of the stuff will fit in the other room. Welcome to the monkey show, kid. Yeah. Mm, monkey. It's a pretty fitting name for this stream right now, actually. Okay, we got healing corner. Got healing corner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, game. What is your what is your malfunction? Oh, we have too much stuff. That's the issue. Right, right, right. Well, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Hang on. Right, Billy, grab this. Cause I don't have my. I haven't put any of my like guns on. Welcome to the Monkey Show. It really did sound like Monkey Show. Okay. Okay, healing corner. In fact, I'm going to grab that red herb just so it further back. I want it to be right tucked up. Alright, that's fine. Healing corner. Okay. Uh, you better grab your guns and shit, actually. Is this your stars pistol? <gasps> you finally got your stars pistol back! Good for you! Billy had been using it all this time. Kind of tempted to not have you take this shotgun. I think you're out of bullets in it anyway. How many items are in that other room? Two, three, four, five, six. You stay here. Okay. Can you pick this? Thing? Okay. Use your last on monkey. Well, she's had this shotgun for like forever, but um, I think they r ran out of ammo and that in like two seconds. And then obviously, I'm not going to give them shotgun ammo while they're like being controlled by the computer. That would be insane. Can't leave it here. Why not? I left a bunch of stuff all in a row on here and you were fine with it. Why can I now not leave it here? See why people find this annoying? I was saying this before though, weirdly I don't find this part of the game that annoying. <laughs> I get, I 100% get why people would, but to me this is not that bothersome. 
This is more annoying, that I apparently cannot put stuff down again after I picked it up. Just don't know why they went this route. I feel like what they should have done is let you drop stuff on the floor, but next to safe rooms, put um, item boxes and just not make them like universal. If that was what they wanted, if that was like the the major underlying issue or whatever with the gameplay that they they want to change, just don't make the item boxes universal. No one would have like cared. Very confused as to why I'm not allowed to leave this here. I don't understand what the issue is. They have certain number of slots per room, and I'm not taking up that many slots. They're just being really finicky about where I put stuff. And it's that's very annoying. Because like I wanna I wanna leave this in this corridor, and it should be fine. You've been fine with it before. In fact, I already put stuff down where you're saying I can't put it down. Let's go. Okay. I'll go. Okay. I was going to say, if this had non-universal item box, it wasn't so fiddly, it'd be a lot better. Yeah. Agreed. I'm just going to have to do something real quick. I think. a user experience problem yeah okay he hasn't got anything I want to keep I think if I, I think if I grab a bunch of stuff like more or less everything in this corridor and just go to put them down in a row again it'll be fine with it no keep the grenade launcher on the floor It's not ideal, but I don't really know what else I can do here. If I want to keep everything in this corridor. Like, I kind of wanted everything weapon-related to be in this corridor. But it doesn't like it. So I think it's leaving it in front of me. Like I think if I here's here's my my guess chat. If I stand on top of this item and drop something, like if there was space, I think it would be okay with it. Same with this. If I stand on top of this Molotov and like try to drop this, it'll go close to the wall if there's space for it. Like there, it's gonna put it in between those things. Yeah. Okay. All right. I understand. It's not great, but I understand it. It's fine, we'll just have to have a couple of weapons in this other room. To be fair, one of them weapons makes sense to be in this room because I think I'm about to use it in here anyway. Sorry, Billy, you need to... You need to be with me now. Alright, we've done a bunch of annoying shit there, chat. Hmm. And now it's done. I don't need to do it again. Until we leave area, maybe. There's a water pitcher here, it's empty though. 
You know, I never really thought about it, but when was the last time these two, like, had anything to drink? They gotta be dehydrated. Fighting ribbons. That's beautiful. Just before they last went to the toilet. There's a typewriter. Would you like to record data? No. Press this first. Simple elevator shoot for transporting items. Please be connected to the operating room. Send something to the operating room. No. Okay. Never mind. That's for later. That's some sort of, like, Billy's going to be in the operating room and I'm going to be in the safe room sending him things puzzle. Game really makes me miss the storage box on the other games. Yeah, you don't know what you had until it's gone, I guess. Like, I never was a big, like, massive fan of the item box system in Resident Evil or the Ribbon system for that matter, but... Sure do miss it now. You stay here. Yeah. This way. Yeah. Be prepared for a very slow dumb waiter. That's not a very nice thing to say about your staff that wait on you at the restaurant. We not that we don't seem particularly fussed about the fella in the corner. Didn't know flowers that snobbish. Yeah. Crazy. Guess you're just down there, huh? You know what, Rebecca? I've changed my mind. Can I not get back down? Oh, fuck. Guess you're on reconnaissance. We did just save, so it's not the end of the world. There's another save room up here? There's another hole down as well, but I don't know if that's what we want. Guess if you can't get back down, it makes sense. Hey, look, it's my corridor full of shit. There's a button, press it, yes. That's less than ideal. I disagree. They're like, there's no need to press it anymore. What about if I want to, like, I don't know, put it back in his box? Too high to jump down. Well, hang on. I don't really know how that thing is going to work like that, but. Alright, well, we've got bottles and more ink ribbons. I can't carry both, so right now, just sit on reconnaissance. Locked and you can't open it. Right, so now I'm guessing the rest of this would be switch over to old Billiam here, and he would, he would be going through the low route. Right? Well, that looks locked. Actually, no, there's there's more rooms for me to go here. Alright, chat, here's the deal. I'm gonna be i I'm gonna be reloading this more than likely.
So I'm just gonna look around. Just gonna kind of figure out the lay of the land here and what, what we have to do. This feels very different to other Resident Evil games in the sense that I'm not necessarily... He's literally moving his head. <laughs> it was like the worst kept secret ever. Full of poisonous gas that so a safety lock has been activated. Leech growth records. February 3rd, 1978. Administered tea into four leeches. Their will to survive leads them to first... Uh, leads them first to parasitism, parasitism, I guess, from predation. Uh, they then breed and multiply. Such a single-minded biology makes them attractive candidates for bioweapon research. Afterwards, no major changes observed. Every tenth, seven days since administration of tea, rapid growth to double former size, signs of transformation emerging, spawning successful. They doubled their numbers in one hour, but their ravenous appetites led them to cannibalism. Hastened to increase food supply, but lost two. March 7th. Provided half of them with live feed, but lost half when the live food fought back. However, the leeches are learning from the experience and are beginning to exhibit group attack behavior. They're also ceasing cannibalism. Their evolution is exceeding expectations. April 22nd. The leeches no longer exhibit individual behavior. Even when not feeding, they move as a collective. They consume everything I offer with remarkable efficiency. April 13th. Ah, yes. April 13th. My favorite. <laughs> An employee has stumbled onto my experiments. Can a human be a food source? How will the leeches respond? June 3rd. A day worth of uh, worthy of commemoration. Today they began to mimic me. Surely they recognize their father. Wonderful children, no one would take you away. Hmm. You alive? Rebecca, where are you? Uh, what says? Stripping agent. Here's to be a device pumping gas in the room next door. The device is empty right now. Does that mean Billy's in trouble? He's in the safe room, isn't he? Whoa! Damn it! Some safe room. I don't feel safe at all. Alright, well. Shotgun shells in here? I mean, I don't need the shotgun shells, but if I sent Billy through here, he would. Um, do have a soft spot for this segment because they use the dual part and mechanic pretty well. Mm. Yeah, I'm not hating it. That's for damn sure. It's interesting so far. So, Billy could come out of there and go through that hallway, but it's all locked up. There is a ladder that will eventually get us together, but it's in an area that I don't think I have access to, so let's see what this is. <clears throat> like I say, high chance I'm going to reset this chat, but... Okay, that's the dumb waiter. Guns out. I don't know why I ran out. That was a big mistake. 
I should have just ran past him. This none of this will be a problem. If I do reset and send Billy in instead. Hi. Oh, look at that guy. You get to see him up close. Look. Hi. Do some bullet. This door is decorated with the bust of Marcus. Space in the base with some kind of object. Space in the base! Stripping agent is already in your mixing, so add the chemical. Green chemical and a stripping agent have been mixed to form a red chemical. Okay, so I assume uh, that was a mistake and it was just I should have left it as the stripping agent. Investigate his report. Dr. Marcus, co-founder of President Spencer of the Umbrella Corporation, disappeared 20 years ago. The results of his research have been kept under wraps the entire time. The reason became clear here at the training facility run by Dr. Marcus. Well, not exactly here, but underground. When we ventured below, we understood. There we found the evidence of Dr. Marcus's research into the T-virus prototype called Progenitor. The evidence of years of hideous experimentation that used company employees as guinea pigs. Cannot know how many were forced to become subjects, but based on the evidence, no less than 20 individuals are involved. Some of them were taken deliberately to keep the corporation's secret safe. Where the doctor is now, I don't know, but considering the recent rapid growth of Umbrella Corporation, I can't help but think that the research is continuing. Yes, his experiment lives and continues to grow in the dark. Those things, the fruit of his research, they fill this facility. The rest of the notebook pages are missing. No. It's not all that shocking that that happened, but... The thing that I'm a little confused about right now is that I don't seem to have access to anywhere else. As Rebecca. So I'm assuming maybe there's something downstairs now for Billy to get. But there's a leech fella down there. And that's going to be a problem because um, that leech fella has got... All right, okay, this is the time to reload. This is where we reload. <clears throat> that leech fella is in the corridor with my Molotovs. Which is definitely a lesson learned. Also, arguably somewhat of a failing of the entire system, though, because... Like, what am I supposed to do about that, you know? Except, no, it was going to happen ahead of time. Alright, so... Billy, you need... Let's split up. Okay. Billy, you need this. Billy, grab it. I think if you have to reload the game to form new strategies, that's fault of the game. I like... I don't hate that, necessarily, as a, like, a sort of gameplay conceit. But, yeah, it's a little... It's a little rough. I've also just had a thought that... I guess you could send the hookshot down the dumbwaiter and get the other person up there. Would that be soft-locking it? <laughs> like, if there's no other way... Uh, up or down, or whatever, would that be a way to break the game? Don't think you can send down two slot items. Ah, well that makes sense then. Right, a lot of the problem here is Billy is going to be completely full on inventory if I send him up with this loadout. So he might have to leave his shotgun behind. Or 
do I take the shotgun and then drop the hook shot when I'm up there to get later? No, there's a leech in that room. But maybe I should kill the leech. Yeah. Alright, you know what? Also, whoever's going up there could, in theory, take a green herb with them if they wanted. Or red herb, rather. Sorry to mix with a green herb. But that would have to be... Now I think about it, it would have to be Rebecca. Also, you know what? Rebecca going up there actually isn't the end of the world, really, in the grand scheme of things, because she's going to end up wanting to mix the, the chemical. I just didn't send her up with enough ammo. Maybe I do send Rebecca up. It's got me thinking. Like, about who to send up and who to not, and, and all that stuff. So we're going to do that. You're going to pick this back up because you may as well. Um. You should take the pistol ammo. That's only going to leave you one slot. You'll have another one once you use the Molotovs. Okay. Alright, well, Billy, let's get him in position down here. For when that fella pops back up, so I can just blast his ass. I might just leave the hook shot up there under the assumption that I can come back and get it. Alright, excuse Bill. Are we get to find out if um, Rebecca's shot with the uh, the Molotovs is any better than Billy's, I guess. Capcom probably. Resident Evil Zero. In this game, we give you a 0.1% horror and 99.1% survival. Maybe they were like people saying it's not survival horror anymore, it's action. So let's make it like absurd reaction the other, the other way. Did I read this? Laboratory manager's diary. Today under Director Marcus's orders, I changed. No, I didn't. Today under Director Marcus's orders, I changed the platform entry code. Later, I asked him what the source of the entry code was. He told me it was based on something significant in his, ch his children's growth. But the director's a loner. He isn't married. He sure doesn't have any children. What did he mean? Ah, he meant the, he meant the things, the leeches. Turn on and press the power button. I'm going to take this and we'll leave it in that other safe room. Didn't this game come out before Resident Evil 4? Alexa, when did Resident Evil 4 release on GameCube? The game Resident Evil 4 was released 19 years ago on the 18th of March 2005. Alexa, when did Resident Evil 0 come out on the GameCube? Resident Evil Zero was released on the 21st of May 2019 and it is available on okay. Nintendo GameCube. Nintendo Alexa, Switch. when did the GameCube version of Resident Evil Zero release? I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Alright, great. You fucking useless bitch. Let's look it up. Resident... I think it's like 2003. That's my guess, though. Evil Zero GameCube release date. Let's see if I'm a better... 2002. End of 2002. It was 2003 in Europe. 
So uh, no, this came out before Resident Evil 4. Uh, 4. You were right. I was wrong. Yo. Why is she throw that so much better than him? That's so much quicker. What the fuck? She did a like, spin on that shit. Can I get a prize? I'll take a uh, plus 60 clown coins <laughs> and receipt. Thank you. A collection of leech samples. Press the button. Sure. One of the capsules is glowing. Take the leech capsule. Yes? I don't feel good about that. I don't know what I just did. Is to be contained a specimen of leech, lid won't budge, maybe it's sealed with some kind of special material, right? So that's the stripping agent. Okay. You got the lab map. Is there any reason for me to push that button right now? I don't think so, right? Probably just push this button when I'm like ready. This is the like lab room or whatever that had some shotgun shells in it. But it also had the stripping agent. All the stuff I need for the stripping agent. No, that was the other one, sorry. That one's locked. It was this room. This is not that room. Was it locked because I didn't press the button? That's actually a very real possibility. Alright, so we've got a green herb up here. I kind of don't need it. This is locked. I mean, I gotta be honest. I kind of got kind a of feeling. Making a save. Like, I know I haven't done a lot, but I've done it well. And if, like, again, if for some reason we don't want to, we can always go back. Oh, I just realized. Well, I'll tell you what, chat, and this is, uh, this is unusual for me because I don't normally finish this early, but I just realized how close to an end point we are, and I don't want to waste an ink ribbon. <laughs> so... I think next time we will resume. And basically what I need to go do is I need to go and open that hallway out there. Billy's going to get attacked by a zombie in the safe room. Uh, he also needs to go out in the hall and Molotov a zombie to death. So that's Billy's job down there. We need to go and combine our green chemical with a red chemical in the next room over. Uh, 
yeah, we've got some stuff to do. I think we need to put... I think we need the stripping agent to get this, the leech out of the container so that we can put it in the door. I think is what we're doing. And I guess we'll do that next time. Because like I said, even though we're maybe about 5-10 minutes earlier than I would normally want to finish up, I don't want to use another ink ribbon. So... I think uh, this is this is a, a cool section. I'm enjoying this. This is a good, well done bit so far. Like it's making me think. It's using the systems that this game has that are unique to it to make me think, which is something that it hasn't done yet. So I appreciate that. But yeah, everybody, I guess for now then, thank you very much for coming along to the stream. This is Rebecca's time to shine. You can join me for more of this next Monday where we'll continue on in the lab. But for now, everyone, I won't see you again until Tuesday, tomorrow. I'll be Resident Evil 6, the Chris and Piss campaign, with a new special guest co-op cooperator chat. If you want to see who that is, you're going to have to turn up 7pm tomorrow. And then uh, rest of the week, Wednesday, I'm going to be over on an XCOM stream on More Malicious's side um, as his... Um, mission control so if you want to come and watch me hopefully keep you guys alive but probably not on XCOM 2 you can join us over there at 7.30 on Morbo stream uh, Thursday will be more Dead Space remake and then Saturday will be the continuation of uh, Maiden of Blackwater Fatal Frame GG great stream Toffle thank you very much everybody have a great rest of your night I'll catch you all again tomorrow <laughs>